Good evening. I'm Lester Holt in tonight for Brian Williams. In the growing controversy over President Obama's Supreme Court nominee Sonia Sotomayor, critics on the right tonight are finding some traction in comments she made back in 2001, suggesting a female Hispanic judge would often reach a better conclusion than a white male judge. And late today, the president addressed it head on, telling Brian Williams Sotomayor may have wanted to restate her point. Mr. Obama's comments came at the end of a day that Brian and an NBC News team spent with the president documenting life inside the White House for a two-night special to air next week here on NBC. The Sotomayor pick dominated a broad-ranging discussion and capped a day of extraordinary access into the Obama White House. NBC News White House correspondent Savannah Guthrie is also there tonight with more on the Sotomayor controversy. Savannah, good evening to you. Good evening, Lester. As you mentioned, those comments that Sotomayor made in 2001 have generated a growing firestorm, and the White House decided today it was time to respond. The president acknowledging for the first time that the judge probably wishes she had used other words, but he also strongly defended his nominee. Here is the president with NBC's Brian Williams in an exclusive interview. This is the quote, I would hope that a wise Latina woman with the richness of her experiences would more often than not reach a better conclusion than a white male who hasn't lived that life. Uh, it's your judgment, perhaps having talked to the judge, that uh, as we say, that's one of those she'd rather have back if she had it to redo? I'm sure she would have uh, restated it, but if you look in the uh, entire uh, sweep of the essay that she wrote, what's clear is that she was simply saying that her life experiences will give her uh, information about the struggles and hardships that people are going through uh, that will make her a good judge. And you know, she was pointing out in that same essay that it was nine white males who uh, passed down Brown versus Board of Education, which is partly responsible for me sitting here. So uh, that's hardly uh, the kind of statement uh, that would uh, indicate that she subscribes to identity politics. In fact, what she really uh, subscribes to is the exact opposite, which is the sense that all of us have life experiences and struggles, and part of the job of a justice on the Supreme Court, or any judge, is to be able to stand in somebody else's shoes, to be able to uh, you know, understand the, the nature of the case and how it has an impact on people's ordinary day-to-day -day lives. Uh, and so her, as a Latina woman, uh, part of her job is going to be to listen to uh, the farmer in, in Iowa. And you know, if he's upset about a farm regulation, and be able to understand how hard it is to farm and, and what that means, and, and to be able to incorporate that into her, her decision-making. Uh, it means that she has uh, an understanding of uh, what a uh, corporate uh, CEO might be thinking, uh, and she has those experiences as well, having worked as a corporate litigator. That breadth of experience, that, that knowledge of how the world works, is uh, part of what we want for a justice uh, who's going to be effective. And, and I think that uh, when she's uh, appearing uh, before the Senate committee in her confirmation process, I think all this nonsense that uh, is being spewed out uh, will be revealed for what it is. Well, as we mentioned, the judge's statement really generated some heated rhetoric on the right. Rush Limbaugh, Newt Gingrich called her a racist. But some other Republican leaders today expressed some unease with that racially charged rhetoric, saying she should, be, she should be judged on her judicial philosophy, on her record alone. Meanwhile, the judge goes to Capitol Hill next week, starting this confirmation process in earnest when she meets with key senators there. Lester? Savannah, thank you very much. And be sure to watch Inside the Obama White House, Brian Williams reports, a special airing Tuesday and Wednesday night at 9 o'clock, 8 central here on NBC.